consider a 1 kg mass because gravitational force acts downward to increase its GPE, we got to move it upward. If the gravitational force acts upward, we would have to move it downward to increase its GPE. So we have this simple rule that GPE increases in the opposite direction of gravitational force. On the surface of the planet Earth, the gravitational force acting on the 1 kg mass is about 10 newtons. For every 1 meter moved up, the mass gains about 10 joules of GPE. On the surface of the Moon, the gravitational force will only be about 1.6 newtons. For every 1 meter moved up, the mass gains only 1.6 joules of GPE. So we can add to the rule. The rate of increase of GPE with distance tells us the magnitude of the gravitational force. This rule applies even for resultant gravitational forces and total GPEs. Take for example a spacecraft travelling from the Earth to the Moon. At the beginning of the journey, the spacecraft gains GPE as it travels away from the Earth. This tells us that the spacecraft is experiencing a net gravitational force that's pulling it back towards the Earth. The GPE slope, however, becomes less and less steep telling us that the net gravitational force is becoming weaker. When the GPE slope is totally flat, we know the spacecraft has arrived at the now point, where the net gravitational force is zero. Beyond the now point, the spacecraft starts to lose GPE as it travels towards the moon, telling us that the net gravitational force is now directed towards the moon.